morning. All right, everyone, we've made it halfway through 2022. And as promised, I'm checking back in with all of us on our goals for this year, because it's not enough just to say, I want to do more around the house. I want that promotion. I need to feel more confident on my motorcycle. You have to take steps towards those goals if you want to achieve them. And then we have to check back in just to make sure that we're still on the right track. So, Yo Sam and Steven, how are you doing staying healthy? Ed, how's that video editing coming along? And Pale Rider, how many miles have you gotten in this year? Welcome new subscribers, welcome back returning subscribers. I am so grateful that you guys are here and riding along with me. For those that are new, my name is Dawn, AKA Irish Bob Sister, and I am a full-time marketing manager over at FX Caprera Harley-Davidson, as well as a motorcycle mentor and a life coach. Of course, we're gonna get into that, but first I do wanna hear from you. What goals did you set for 2022? What steps have you taken to reach those goals? And how are you going to feel when you accomplish those goals? Let me know in the comments below because I truly want to hear what you have to say. My goals for 2022 are to ride more than 6,846 miles. <laughs> Check. <laughs> That's how many miles I rode in 2021. How do I know how many miles I rode? That's because I am part of the HOG Ride 365 program that celebrates lifetime chapter challenges and annual mileage check-ins. And remember, when you're a HOG member, HOG stands for Harley Owners Group, by the way, and you have the HD visa, you can turn those, po those miles into points that you can then get gift cards for and use at the dealership. You ride and get rewarded. That's a win-win for sure. When I filmed this video, I had 33,909 miles on my bike. I started off the year at 24,699. That's 7,210 miles I've ridden so far this year. That means I made it. <laughs> Yay, happy dance. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop riding now that I've reached my goal. I'm obviously going to keep going. I've got roughly 131 days from now until Halloween, which is normally about the time that I put up my bike for winter storage. How many more miles do you think I'm going to be able to ride? That's a chance for me to say, hit that subscribe button. We'll check back in with each other in December and find out. Another goal of mine was to do a moto vlog co collaborate. I need more coffee. <laughs> Another goal of mine was to do a motovlog collaboration and I did do that back in January of this year with my good friend Gabby over at Bram Moto. I'll put the link to that video down below. Just like with the miles, I'd like to do more. If you're a vlogger who wants to do a joint video, then please let me know in the comments below or reach out to me through my website. My third goal is to have 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. At this time, I have 265, which is up 17 new subscribers in the last 28 days. Thank you. The number of views and watch time is also up, so I must be doing something right. Of course, you can also ride along with me on other social media channels. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just search Irish Bob Sister. This goal is more like a side goal. In the fall, I plan to do Facebook and YouTube advertising to promote my life coach and consulting website, irishbobsister.com. Click on over to that after this video to check it out. What I'm trying to say is that while this is still a goal, it's not a must have or I'll die kind of thing. Another reason to check in on your goals periodically because that'll help us prioritize them as well. Last but not least, my last goal for 2022 was to become a life coach. To put it simply, life coaching is a powerful conversation between a trained coach and a person who is ready and willing to focus on personal and professional growth. This type of coaching is also a highly tuned and dynamic process of communication and problem solving. The main reason I've 
become a life coach is the fact that most people, after completing their MSF basic writers course and getting the M endorsement on their license, experience a gap between being a beginner writer and getting enough experience to become a biker. It even happened to me. When I finished my course at Harley Davidson of Atlanta, I was all, what now? I didn't have a lot of friends that rode, so ended up riding just mainly back and forth to work on my own. And that wasn't a lot of fun to start off with. So I understand exactly the reason why a lot of new riders give up the sport within the first year. I've also heard from quite a few people who were told that they'd have to leave their MSF course because they dropped the bike or they weren't following instructions or a lot of them felt like the instructor just plain didn't like them. These experiences that I've heard just break my heart for those that went through it. Motorcycling is such fun. I definitely want those who are interested in riding to get the confidence and experience the camaraderie that I am blessed to have in my life. That's the main reason I became a life coach, to show the way to those who are new to the sport or might be returning to the sport after a few years of not riding. I knew I had the knowledge, but I needed the training to learn how to effectively share that wisdom. And that's where the Coach Training Alliance came in. That's who I went through to get my training and certification. In the US, there's no requirement for me to be certified as a life coach. However, I didn't just want to wing it. I mean, this is important stuff. You are important. Your goals are important to me. And looking at it the other way, as a client, I am more likely to go with someone who is trained than somebody who is just feels like they can do the job. I mean, same thing with my motorcycle. Am I going to trust it to a mechanic who has graduated MMI? Or am I going to trust it to someone who maybe took a shop class back in high school 10 years ago and thinks they know how to do it? In fact, CTA encourages their students to hire a life coach on their own. So then that way we can get a feel for what the clients are going through. So at the end of January, as I started my class with Coach Training Alliance, I also was 218 pounds and I was tired of it. I knew I wanted to lose the weight and after trying for six months on my own, I knew I couldn't do it on my own. I needed help. Plus, I wanted real knowledge. In other words, I didn't want to buy and eat somebody else's specialty food or get a drug or get a supplement and lose the weight that way because I knew that once I went off of that, then I'd gain the weight right back. I've been around long enough to know that there are no real shortcuts in life. You have to do the work. And typically those shortcuts only benefit one person and that's the person who's selling it to you. So knowing that I wanted real change, that's the reason that I chose Noom. They use science and personalization to help me lose weight and keep it off. With one-on-one -on -one coaching, support groups, and SOS plans, I could choose the kind of support that I needed to keep going. And it worked too. You can see for yourself. Since starting with Noom, I've lost 40 pounds and I feel so much better. My joints don't ache as much as they used to and I'm not as worried about heart disease or diabetes. Not only am I happier with my body image, I'm also healthier in a lot more ways. As you can see, this life coaching stuff actually works. Now remember, I wasn't looking for a quick fix. So if you're thinking that hiring a life coach is going to magically make all your dreams come true, please think again. There is real work involved and you'll be doing most of the heavy lifting yourself. And life coaches aren't therapists or psychologists either. The latter deals with your past, helping you heal from psychological trauma and resolve issues. Life coaches, on the other hand, we deal with your future. We'll work with you to uncover what you truly want and we'll guide you to exactly that. Skilled coaches help you to laser focus on your specific challenges and goals. 
and will help improve the time that it takes to get you to a successful change and completion. As a life coach, I am trained to help you engage with your life in an active and goal-oriented way to get you from where you are to where you really want and can be. While you may think you know yourself well enough to put together your own plan like I did, don't overlook the knowledge, skills, and experience an experienced coach brings to the table. I can assess your abilities and limitations, real or perceived, from the outside and I can provide suggestions on how to increase, address, or remove them. Do you or someone you know need guidance on how to get from beginner to biker? Or are you a biker that feels as if you're stuck? Like you want to make something happen but not sure which action to take? No matter what situation you're in, if you want to discover what's holding you back, identify your strengths, increase your awareness, and challenge yourself to grow both personally and professionally, then I'd be honored if you hired me as your life coach. While I don't have all the answers, I do have very powerful and deep questions in my saddlebag of tricks. And I know how to listen very carefully to every word that you say. That's why having a life coach can be so powerful. I will work with you to reach that next level in your life. Achieve the dreams that you didn't even think you could dream. And I'll let you hear and see yourself through me so you can grow and become a better version of yourself. What do you say? Interested enough to learn more? Ready to get on the road to your goals? Feel as if we might be a good fit? Why not start with a free 30 minute free trial? Again, it's right over there on my website, irishbobsister.com. Let's ride. As always, guys and gals, if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I upload new content, then click that bell. And until next week, please be safe. Be kind to one another, even if they don't have a life coach. Ride when you can and have fun.